Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can sort the data in client side and in server side in a lightning data table in lightning web component. So basically, we'll be having two examples here. In one, we'll be sorting the data client side. So basically, we'll be sorting the cache data, which is already being retrieved from the server. So it is going to be a little faster as compared to the server side. And the second example will be, we'll be calling the apex we'll be making an apex call out to sort the data and we'll get the data from the server okay so let's start today's video guys i'm kapil your host and you're watching salesforce bold all right guys let's start today's video so as i mentioned we'll be having two examples today so for that, I have already created two lightning uh, web components. Both of them are having data tables with a different kind of sorting. So in the first component, I'm basically doing the client side sort. Okay, so basically we'll be sorting the cached data, which is already being retrieved from server. And in the second example, we'll be doing server side uh, sorting. So basically we'll be hitting the server call out uh, at the time of sorting. Okay, so this is going to be a slightly, you you may feel a slightly delay in server uh, server callout or server sorting as compared to the client side because in client side we are just, we have already retrieved the data and we are just sorting the data. So when uh, you should use the client side sorting and when you should use the server side. So it's completely depend on your requirement. It is completely up to you. But in my suggestion, so whenever you have to handle a small amount of data, for example, uh, let's say you have created a dashboard component and you need to place a lightning web component there, which will display the latest uh, 20 or maybe 50 records in it. Okay. So in that case, you may use the client side sorting because you know, like there will be a number of, uh, there will be a limited record in this data table. So you can easily just fetch them together and uh, do the client side sorting later to just provide the functionality. And uh, for large requests, for large data, you may use the server side callout. Okay. So let me show you the output. So guys, these are my two components. The first one is having the client side sorting and the second one is having server side sorting. Okay. And uh, let me tell you in server side sorting also as we are using wired apex. So if you are aware about it, so wired will be using the reactive parameters. So it will basically, uh, so what reactive parameter is basically, uh, whenever you will change the value in the reactive parameter, it will provide you the latest data stream based on the reactive parameters value. Okay. So as I said, it will provide you, I have not used, it will fetch, it will get because it is not necessary to hit the server call out each time if you are already having the data okay so whenever you will be having the data it will first try to get the data from the cache and it will only hit the server call out if required let me show it to you by example so this is the client side sort so you just have to click on the sort arrow here and uh, you see it is uh, very fast because everything is happening locally on client side okay now you will feel slightly delay in sorting while i will be clicking on the server side so if you just pay attention to the first name i'm going to click it and there could be some uh, i would say a half of second delay in sorting <coughs> sorry okay so mm, see so you may have noticed that delay, but next time when you will click it, you won't be finding that delay because the data is already in our cache memory. And let's say if I try to sort it using last name, so you will feel that delay again because it will change the circle basically. So you see the uh, uh, maybe a second delay, but now the delay will not be here. Okay, so that's how basically server side sorting works. Okay, now uh, as you have seen, I have already created two lightning web components here. So I'll be just explaining the code in this example. So let me show you the code now. 
okay so let's start with the client side one so this is the client side component here i'm just having a very basic i would say data lightning data table here in which i have fetched list of contacts and for that i'm using get all contact function here i'm just retrieving first name last name title phone and email and i'm just retrieving 10 records here because as i have already mentioned like you should only use it if you have to play with a limited number of records okay so this will be the apex function for it let's go back to the html yeah and here i'm having few functions on sorted by sorted direction and on sort of course so sorted by you may consider it order by in circle like order by name so it will just uh, sort the data um, based on the name and uh, the direction the direction could be ascending or descending basically okay <clears throat> so this is a uh, lightning data table let me move to javascript now so in javascript i'm just calling my apex function here and these are my columns so all of my columns are having sortable true here so if you need to enable sorting to a spec to some specific column also so that is also possible and two of my columns are having i just realized that editable true so please ignore that this has nothing to do with the sorting i think i have used a previous example so maybe that's why this editable true is here so please ignore that and after that i'm having my columns contacts contact basically is my data sorted by and sorted direction here so I'm wiring the contacts and I'm wiring the data in this this dot contact. Okay, so basically we are having list of contacts here, and in error block I have just uh, having the I'm just having the error in the console dot log. So okay, this is my on sort on sort function. In this on sort function I'm having uh, these two parameters sort by sorted by and sorted direction. In sorted by I'm having the field name like order by field name. And in sorted direction, I will be having ascending or descending. So if it is ascending, it will return descending. If it is descending, it will return ascending. Okay. And after that, I'm calling another function, which is this dot sort data in which I'm passing the field name and the sort direction. Okay. And here guys, this is a very common JavaScript code, I would say for sorting purpose. So basically what this function will do, this function will pass, parse the data into the JSON first. Okay and then it will sort the data and then uh, we will assign that parse data into our data variable into uh, into the previous data variable again okay so here we are just parsing the data okay we are returning the field name we are checking if uh, a field is uh, ascending or descending okay then here using parse data dot sort we are just sorting the data in ascending or descending order okay and then after sorting the data we are assigning data the sorted data back to that specific data parameter okay so we are just sorting the data then we are assigning the data back to the same parameter again so this was the functionality for the client side sorting guys okay so i i think this was uh this was an easy pick now let me move to another function which is server side thing so the html is i would say completely similar here so no need to change the html in the javascript i'm having a different function here which is get all contact sorting in which i have used a dynamic circle this time let me show it to you so this is my next function get all contact sorting so here i'm having two parameters order by and direction and here i'm creating a dynamic query here where i'm having the same query select id first name last name phone email from contacts now i'm just making it order by to the field name retrieved from that javascript thing and it will be ascending or descending so this direction will be having asc or desc these two options are only available to sort the data and then i'm returning the data back to the lightning web component okay let me go to the javascript now so here guys i'm having pretty much similar thing i'm just wiring the data but uh, while wiring it i'm just passing sorted by and sorted direction and if you'll notice guys as we are using the reactive parameters 
so that's why the parameters need to be with the dollar sign and reactive parameter will provide you the data uh, based on the value on the reactive para reactive parameter so it is not necessary guys like it, it is not going to fetch or get the data each time you change the value okay because if data is available in the cache already so it will just retrieve that data only i mean we won't be making any server call out in that case so i'm just passing two parameters and based on those two parameters i'm just getting the list of contacts back and we are having the same on sort function here where we are assigning the field name in sorted by and uh, direction ascending or descending in sorted direction and one more thing guys you have to assign default values here so the sorted by in which i'm having the field name the, so i have assigned the default field name because in wired we will be sending these parameters so i have assigned the default field name as first name and the sorted direction in uh, ascending or maybe you may choose descending so it's completely up to your requirement guys okay so that it is for today guys so uh, i hope uh, uh, you I, I hope you'll be able to use the client side and server side in some live scenarios as well okay so that's it for today guys if you like today's video uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching